All right, all right, all right. Right, so phase two. Phase one, the chassis. I showed you that. Chassis and transmission, custom fitting, chopping, all that kind of good stuff. Uh, the next part is the front and rear ends, front and rear axles. So front axle, there's been, I'll just put one to one side, should we just concentrate on one at a time? So um, I had these Element RC Gold shocks left over from my Element Gatekeeper. Actually, I bought a new set. I had two sets for the Gatekeeper. These ones, I have um, uh, put another coil in here to make them a semi-droop seat pull back down and it makes them a little bit shorter lowers the ride height and it's uh, so there is a semi droop active droop going on in these so i've added them taken the other silver ones off nothing wrong with the silver ones although the ball ends on these ones are indeed metal and in fact all the ball ends on the stock ecto are annoyingly plastic and in my mind they should be metal as should the hexes. But anyway, moving onwards, um, SSD lower um, uh, link and shock mounts made out of brass. Same on both axles, actually, I've used them. Um, I have gone with SSD outer hubs, uh, treal inner hubs, and a treal pumpkin cover because this pumpkin cover is heavier than the SSD pumpkin cover that I've used on the rear end. Links wise from the D-Links, I've only ended up using the, the panhard mount because it's bent into a nice shape, gives more clearance over the pumpkin. That's the front end, it's all gone together very nicely. I have to say the diffs were literally perfectly um, lubricated on this ready to run car which I was impressed with to be honest rear end remains largely the same as I said before I like the trailing arm suspension um, I will delete the um, I have deleted the um, uh, sway bar for the shock droopy shock setup and I've gone with trio um, axle weights at the rear here and an SSD pumpkin cover and SSD lower link and shock suspension points. I might move these shocks to here, but the way I liked them before is they were set up. These were your two shock mounts and the um, rear sway bar would go here. I have used this setup before and I like it. So these shocks move to the rear sway bar um, uh, mounting location. So that's part two. Uh, rear and front uh, axles are ready to go back on the truck. I will now attach the drive shafts to see if they work with the new transmission. I think they will. I hope they will. Um, so uh, I'll attach the drive shaft inner ends to the transmission on the chassis, the team garage hat transmission. And then I will mount these up. And when we have what resembles a roller, I'll use that as my part three. And then maybe part four will be the body. I don't know. We're going to have to do something with the body. But anyway, I'll cross that bridge when I come to it. Peace.